Hello creative designers and welcome on to this tutorial my name is Peter and on today's tutorial we're just going to learn how you can convert either your blog website or an e-commerce website on how it can be a membership website you can see this is a blog website I just created for the purpose of the demo so here we have uh, some few posts and we can just check on one and on this post you can see we have the heading and we have uh, just a small excerpt yeah out of the small excerpt uh, we have this message that says this content is for the bronze or pro membership only for the subscriber or the member to view or see this post he or she need to have uh, an active front if you don't have he can join so on click on join customer will direct it to these membership levels uh, where customer need to select uh, from the existing level or plan or plans you have just created if the customer create uh, decide to use this one customer did be directed to this checkout page where customer did to fill in the uh, this form here let me just fill in and try and the next thing customer need to check out either by any payment that you have just set up uh, for me i've just set up the paypal so on click on paypal customer will be directed to you can see the username has been already taken so let me just change this one and add another uh, username so on click on this pay uh, checkout button uh, this pay button customer will be directed to this uh, paypal checkout page and customer need to just pay out everything uh, fill all this and customer need to click on this agree terms and agree to pay and you can see the amount the customer will be a customer will be required to pay so on click on that let's get get back here i have just i did created a, a demo account where you only need to just log on and see what is available so let me just enter and log in here you see the active plan available you can see it's a pro membership and i just is a free one and you can see membership expiration uh, expanding on may 18th it's a one month duration and we can just go back to the recipe of the home to the home where we had this post and we tried to view it but we never had the chance but on uh, when we have when we log in we have uh this active payment plan you can be able to view this you can also categorize uh, your post for in different uh, membership plan if you have this bronze member membership and customer has not paid customer will also need to join this bronze membership plan that's the tutorial for today you're just going to learn how to create all that so uh, for the purpose of this tutorial you're just going to start from uh, from scratch so we we'll move on to the next website here so I need to log into my dashboard let me just log in and don't log in we have we have to go now to the plugin section on the dashboard menu it's going to have the button for plugin and offer we have the three options select the second option because we need to install a new plugin the plugin is called paid membership here you have it it's called paid membership pro it's from Stretcher Studios. It has more than 100,000 active installation. Last updated six days ago. We installed the plugin. After successful installation, we activate the plugin. Here we are. Is this is a plugin dashboard? You can see we have the dashboard. Here we have so many initial setup. You can just click, but don't worry about that. We can just scroll to here. You have. We skip all this and go to here. We have setting on setting we need to create some levels here click create a new membership first membership we can call it beginners membership like that you can give some small description like what can be found on this level you can see startup tips and you can add as many as you have as you can I, upon upon purchasing this level which uh, this communication that you found uh, this uh, confirmation message we say like you are now a startup member startup member you can like 
a custom message which customer will receive. And if you want this message to be delivered, even in the message and the confirmation email, click on this uh, checkbox. From there, now we get to the billing detail. This is what I have now to fill in the payment that will be uh, that will be included in this uh, payment plan. So we have the initial payment, which will be let's say we want to have uh, this data plan is which will contain five dollars, and we can also have a recurring subscription. We say after 30 days you're going to pay something like eight dollars in every one month billing cycle limit i am not going to judge check that you can also add a custom trial but i'm not going to add that also so from there you can if you disable this uh, new sign up that means that this plan is full and you don't want many, uh, any other member to join in this uh, membership membership expiration you can uh, how many days do you want this message to be sent like uh your membership is about to expire or you just give a notification to the customer or the client from there now we come here and see which content are going to be viewed in this plan i can decide to have this only these three categories if i select this category that means every post in this category or that has been tagged this category will be considered as one for the beginner membership uh, plan so i save the level we add a new one also and we call it pro membership uh, you can add something like now uh you're now on pro you uh pro tips you can see pro tips like that here we are and you can have now the custom message like you are now a pro membership you are now a pro member like that you can you can customize the message the way you want i also check on that i want this to be sent on the confirmation email and i want to say initial payment will be ten dollars but in the recurring i want it to be fifteen dollars like that from there i don't know i'm not going to check on this but on the category section i'm going to select all this here and i save the setting from there what we need to do is we go now we have the discount code you can share the discount code uh for the, to your members and i'm going to the pages here i want to Click the pages when you just come to pages here you can see how many pages that are available these are the one that i created the website with so we need this plugin need its own uh, pages if you have the short code you can create the pages manually but i'm not i'm not going to much deal with the uh, creating the page manually i want to generate the page i want it to generate the page for me so here is the magic just click this generate page for me and they just generated all the page for you you can see and all you just need to do is click save and upon coming back to the page uh, section and you wrote you're going to see many more pages that have been created for you there you are so here we are now go to payment yeah here you can set the payment method I want to if you want to set like PayPal Express, you want to have uh, not just for testing for the purpose of arrive website, or uh, you just want to have live payment. So click on this and select live production. From there, now for the purpose of my security purposes, I'm not going to share these uh, PayPal setting. Let me just set them, and we get back. So from there, now we get back to the currency and tax setting so here which currency do you want to use there's so many currency that are included here but i'm going to use the us dollars depending on the country you are you can set the tax here the tax rate and from there you can uh, enable this one and save the setting from there now we get to the email on the email section now we need to have our custom email here so I'm just going to remove this one and I say I want to have my own custom email, the one I'm going to choose. Once the customer receives the message, you see this email is from the email. 
then you can even add your website here yeah maybe like that one and you save the setting further i just go leave them the way they are and you can just proceed to advance yeah you can block new users from accessing this bar here so i just select this one you can see on this website they can't access the admin when they are already logged in they can't access the admin bar here so i just block them from accessing our wordpress dashboard and i also want to uh, this, uh, hide this wordpress toolbar from there now you have this custom setting uh, for the message this content i'm uh, not going to set on this i'm just going to come here now to content setting what this mean is that filter searches and archives i want to select this one i want customer to see this except here let me just come here and i show you if you type so let me just log out so if you just select if you come here and select yes on remember we'll see restricted content post and archive that means they not be able to see this except here they only see the heading and the login and join so for me i would wish to see i would wish them to see this small excerpt it can be a spice for them and can be attract them maybe to even join the membership fund so select no non-members will see restricted pages and such in archive or that so here the other thing is that show excerpt for to non-members yes show accept from there now you can if you have term and condition page you can select it here i don't have one you can also add lead capture uh, google recapture you can add them here then the other, now, the other thing is now we are in communication setting here you can set the notification show all the notification and customer will need to receive uh, maybe weekly do that and we save the setting here we have now created our pay uh, our membership plan so let me first of all let me close here let's just try to open this in a private page and we see how it look like let's see if it worked you can see yeah customer just only see this uh except in customer you just need to even either log in or join and upon joining customer need to select the plan and fill in the form here and check out with paypal yeah let's go and create one member here so let's get back here now we can just focus on other things here so the dashboard list leave it here on members so you'll be able to see how many people have joined your plans and you can also be able to view them for this one the one i was using for the demo uh i cannot be able to see the user has no light so now the other thing you can be able to see maybe how many the coupon uh the coupon code have been used or the order or people have who have joined your plans and all that and here you have the plans uh the reports you can be able to see them setting we have gone through all of these and now here we have some add-ons which you can add some more some require you to be a pro uh, to join the approval and some of them are free if maybe you have uh, a webber a webber like a webber add-on you can just install it if you want to have a bb press and uh but if you're using a bad uh, body place i don't you can also install this one to just integrate it for you you still have a uh, cancel next time payment date you can also install that customer can check you still have so many features you can check on here yeah that's the purpose for the add-on and you have if you have to purchase this plugin you can enter your license here and validate you can just purchase from here and you can also 
uh, request for support from here. So here we have gone through all that. So let's now just just do add a user here. Let's add a user here. Let's add user, and we're just going to name is so we add them like that. So let's now go to members here and we try to add here we have it and we add it here and we grant him an option to join one of our plans like that and we update like that and we now go we now open this in a private tab and customer need to let's open one post here and say login and customer now let's login and you can see that's what the customer now can see and you come here the customer now can be able to see the post in full like that that how it worked but whenever customer just log out let's add the logout button here so let's go to appearance and menu and we add the logout login logout and we add to menu like that and we save and let's refresh here and see the button if the button work let's save here just now been added so let's get back here and we refresh we have the logout button you can see the post we are and once we click on logout and we try to open the same post you see customer will need to log in and log or join the plan that's how you can add or create a plan for your website it may work for even your e-commerce let's see how you can just add to a custom post yeah so all you just need to do is go to a post here select our post select whichever post you just want to add uh, the features to maybe you want a post to be available so on here on the post feature require here we have the require membership and you can just click either of these remember it is working because we selected some certain category but you can create a post from a different category and it may be the category not be included in the payment plan or whichever plan it is you can select here and select which membership it will be available if you want it to be maybe for beginners only just select for beginners and if you want it to be even for pro select for both of them and remember to update like that just that you have add uh, that feature to your post that's how you can add the payment plan or the plan feature to your e-commerce or web whichever buy in your blog website or for free with a free plugin my name is peter if you gain something out of this tutorial remember to hit the subscribe button like this video till next time thank you